about 250 men and a few with wives and children and servants came to New Mexico as soldier settlers between 1598 and 1601. New Mexico was not an idyllic place to live in the 17th century. Known as Tierra de Guerra, the land of war, the small number of Spaniards spent much of their time defending their communities and those of the Pueblo Indians from depredations by hostile bands of nomadic Indians, mainly Apache and Navajo. Of the several hundred soldiers that came north between 1598 and 1601, a great majority of them deemed New Mexico a land of misery and abandoned the colony. By 1608, only about 50 Spanish soldiers and families continued to reside in New Mexico. Hernan Martin Serrano was one of the soldiers who followed Oñate into New Mexico. He eventually settled at the Pueblo of O.K. Owinge, christened San Juan de los Caballeros by the Spaniards. In the late summer of 1601, he seriously considered abandoning New Mexico with other soldiers who viewed New Mexico as a lost cause, with scant hope for any quick riches and little promise of making a suitable living. However, Martin Serrano changed his mind and remained loyal to keeping New Mexico as a Spanish outpost. Francisco de Madrid was born in 1593. His place of birth is not known. By 1603, four Franciscan friars and 10 soldiers left Mexico City with a caravan of wagons bound for the distant frontier settlement established in New Mexico by Juan de Oñate. Madrid was part of the caravan and came to New Mexico as a boy of about 10. He worked as a crew member in charge of the wagons. Francisco de Madrid was one of the original settlers of Santa Fe and apparently received land for his house and fields. He, his children, and grandchildren remained as residents of the Via de Santa Fe for the rest of the 1600s and were active in civic affairs. Despite the constant dangers of attack by various bands of Apache Indians, Madrid and his family continued to live in the Via of Santa Fe with about 30 other Spanish families. In the late 1630s, he served on the town council and established a legacy of civil service for his children and grandchildren. The full surname of the Olguin family was originally Lopez Olguin, which was shortened to Olguin with an H in the early 1700s and then changed to Olguin with an O by the mid to late 1700s. The origins of this family can be traced to a small farming and livestock raising village of Fuente Abuno, located 58 miles northwest of the city of Cordova in the arid highlands in southern Spain in Andalusia. Juan Lopez Olguin enlisted with his family as settlers to New Mexico. Juan Griego was a soldier in Oñate's army. He served with him in the garrison at the Via de Santa Fe. There are three known references to the origins of Juan Griego, each confirming he was a native of Greece. Griego arrived in Mexico City in 1597 with his wife, Pascuala Bernal. Their son Juan was born in Santa Fe in 1605. In 1610, Francisco Gomez, who served as one of Oñate's soldiers in New Mexico, became an original founder of the Via de Santa Fe. He married Doña Ana Romero, daughter of fellow soldier Bartolomé Romero and Luisa López Robledo. Francisco Gomez remained a resident of the Via de Santa Fe from the time of its founding in 16. 10 until his death around 1656. Alonso Varela and his brother Pedro Valera 
were from Santiago de Compostela in Galicia, Spain. The two young men joined Oñate's army with the promise of adventure and riches. Both were destined to extend their legacy through numerous descendants that populate New Mexico over the course of four centuries. Juan Rodriguez Bayedo enlisted as a soldier in 1600 to assist in the settlement of New Mexico. Rodriguez Bayedo arrived at the Villa de San Gabriel in northern New Mexico on Christmas Eve in 1600. Among this group of recruits were several other men, some with families, who would later also become first settlers of the Villa de Santa Fe. Pedro Duran y Chavez enlisted in 1600 as a soldier and settler bound for New Mexico with the surname of Gomez Duran. Described as being 50 years of age and well built, he was a man with good features. He was also a widower by this time. By 1634, the Villa de Santa Fe consisted of around 250 Spanish and mestizo residents, along with about 750 Indian res residents. Along with about 750 Indian residents, the mestizos were of Spanish and Native American heritage. Five Spanish families that contributed greatly to the sustainability of the town include the Archuleta family. Asensio de Archuleta was a soldier in Oñate's army. In 1613, he served as a notary for the Franciscan missionaries. In 1610, he was elected to the town council for the Via de Santa Fe. Captain Jeronimo Marquez came to New Mexico in 1598 from a coastal town in Spain. Marquez arrived with his wife and several grown children. He and his son served in the military campaigns that helped to establish and secure the Villa of Santa Fe. The Anaya Almazan family was one of the most influential families in the 17th century in New Mexico. Francisco de Anaya Almazan spent his formative years in Mexico City. His parents had immigrated from Salamanca in Spain. Francisco traveled to New Mexico as an aide to a Spanish governor. By 1626, he was well established in Santa Fe with his wife, Juana Lopez de Villafuerte and their four children. Fast forward to 1680 and the Pueblo Revolt and the dynamic rescue of La Conquistadora, the oldest Madonna in the United States. Francisco's granddaughter, Josefa Lopez, de Guiarva helped rescue La Conquistadora from the burning church during the revolt. In 1610, when Pedro Lucero de Godoy was 17, he got his first job as a military escort from Mexico City to New Mexico. For the next nine years, he traveled back and forth on the Camino Real prior to settling in the Villa of Santa Fe. He held many leadership positions in Santa Fe, including that as a member of the city council in 1668. Juan Chumiso was a Mexican Indian who came to New Mexico in 1659. He was a Mason who helped to restore the Royal Government Building, now known as the Palace of the Governors. Through the 1670s, he was responsible for the restoration of many of the buildings in the Villa de Santa Fe. Of the eight known founding families, the following surnames are still found in New Mexico today. Chavez, Gomez, Griego, Olguin, Madrid, Martinez, which is derived from Martin Serrano, Valencia, and Varela. The names of the others who braved the new and at times treacherous frontier have been lost to history, but the Franciscan friars, the Mexican Indians who traveled with the Spanish caballeros and the Pueblo Indians are not forgotten. They also took part in the founding of La Villa Real de Santa Fe de San Francisco de Assis, the royal city of holy faith of St. Francis of Assisi. 
Santa Fe, New Mexico is the first European settlement and the oldest capital city in the United States.